Welcome to Inside Science TV. Where does your favorite team rank? The public is often critical of the polls that help rank college sports teams, especially when their team comes up low on the list. Carl Meyer is a professor of mathematics at North Carolina State University. Meyer and his colleagues are using mathematical methods to come up with ideas for improving ranking systems. There is so much data available, we need a way to organize it. And linear algebra techniques through matrix manipulation and matrix computation provides a natural way to deal with this vast amount of statistics. Many college teams never play each other, so how do you rank them? Researchers can look at data such as final scores and differences in scores. They can also factor in blowouts and tougher schedules. Using what's known as linear algebra, mathematicians arrange these types of sports data into a matrix of rows and columns. Then they apply innovative mathematical algorithms, step-by-step -step procedures for carrying out specific numerical calculations to obtain information that can better rate and rank the teams. Linear algebraic models can be used to rate you know, individual sports. It could be used to rate women's sports. It could be used to rate uh, just your local softball league. Researchers hope their math models will be used with those that the NCAA already uses to rank teams. Using math and matrices to keep sports fans cheering, I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.